What is up guys, here's my version on how to beat Gorefist, Lord of the Cesspool. Before we get into it, don't forget to upgrade your current gear and buy the fire mod from McCabe. By now you should have enough scraps to afford these, and if not, it'll be a rough go. I'm using a hunter equipped with a rifle and I equip the fire mod to my secondary weapon, which is a handgun. Some quick tips, use oil skin before entering. This gives some defense against the exploding rot sacks, which can infect you and hinder movement with a coughing fit. And don't forget, you can also reload while you sprint and dodge. When first entering, Gorefist will be directly in front of you, maybe 20 or 30 meters, far enough to give you some time to make some choices. Once he's in sight, you can smash frenzy dust where you stand and unload as fast as you can. But keep in mind, staying static this long can set you up for a wave of exploding rot sacks, leading to a quick, rotten death. Audio cues warn you of the incoming sacks by the sound of a balloon emptying out very slowly. You could also head to the right into an open area with enough space and minor obstacles to keep gore fist and the sacks at a distance. If you do catch yourself unable to control this made arena, this entire boss area is made with enough nooks and crannies to continuously retreat to. As you can see I get fucked up pretty early in the beginning and use the arena to give myself time to heal. But for fighting him head on, channel your inner professor, cause you're gonna be breaking this bitch's ankles. When he charges at you with a blade drag, he's looking to end it with a direct upward slice. And note the enemy's targeting is fairly accurate. A guaranteed way to dodge this attack is to step left, then dodge right. Your dodge is quick enough to completely avoid this strike. He can also strike downward if close enough to him, which is an easy sideways dodge. After Gorefist receives some damage, he will become enraged and initiate a flurry of slashes with a ridiculous range. I utilize the same type of juke move to avoid this, but this time stepping forward into him and then dodging backwards twice or even three times if needed. Pop your fire mod when it's strategically advantageous to deal big damage. You will be seeing this guy a lot more often in the game as a regular enemy, so it's just good to get good with this guy if you catch my drift. Alright guys, that's going to be it for this video. If it helped you out, leave a like, and if you think there are any additions or if there's a better way that you know of for a particular setup or build, drop it down in the comments below to help any other remnants of humanity win the fight against the root. I am Machine Gun Mike. Go fuck off. <laughs> I call that a win.